Good morning students. This is Sarah Teacher. And I am going to show you how to make an omelet today. You are looking at my fabulous kitchen. And um, let's get started. Okay students, look at these things. What do you think they are? That's right. We need them for cooking. So, what we call the items we need for cooking is ingredients. We use the word ingredients to describe items we use to make a recipe. First we need three eggs. For this recipe we also need salt and pepper. After that students you can use whatever you like. I use cheese, green pepper, mushrooms, onion, ham, and spinach. Some people also use milk. I use milk for my recipe. Items we need that are not food would be a frying pan, a bowl for our eggs, a fork and knife, and a cutting board and this is a spatula, sometimes it is called a turner. Okay students, our first step should always be to wash our hands. I'm going to wash my hands right now. Okay students, now our next step will be to wash the ingredients. If you are cooking and you are making something with vegetables, okay, you're going to want to wash this because it might have pesticides or other chemicals on it. So, okay, so I washed my green pepper, I washed my mushrooms, I washed my spinach, now I'm going to wash my tomato. Okay, quick rinse is all it needs. Always make sure you wash your hands. Okay, now students is the fun part. Um, we're going to well, it's not really fun. Okay, now students is the annoying part, I guess the hardest part of the recipe, which is the chopping. Okay, so we need to chop our vegetables. Start with the green pepper. I cut my green pepper, not all, don't cut it all the way through. Then students, I go around the top like this, because inside the green pepper are all those seeds. You don't want that in your omelet. You don't, you don't want this. So if you do that, you can just take out the top and then just any other seeds that are left. Okay, this is a seed. Just cut that out or pull it out with your fingers. Okay, you don't want seeds in the omelet. Not tasty. Okay, sometimes I just cut out this part as well. Be careful with a knife, don't do what I did. Okay, students, you should never cut towards yourself. Dangerous. Okay, you should always cut away, so this was bad. Don't do that. No. Okay. First, you want to cut the green pepper into lengthwise pieces. Okay, like this. Now, students, um, I cut my green pepper into smaller pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it like this. Okay, now the tomato. See this? You don't want that. Cut it off. Okay. I cut my tomato like this. Everybody cuts their tomato differently. There's no right or wrong way, students. Be careful with your fingers. Don't chop your fingers. Nobody wants to eat an omelet with fingers in it. Okay, forget I just said that. That was weird. We all know that. Okay, and then cut your tomato into smaller pieces. Tomato can be a little watery. Sometimes if I'm going to save tomato, I put it in a separate container because the rest of the ingredients get soggy. Soggy. Soggy means, see this mushroom right now? It's very crisp, and when I touch it, it is not soft. 
However, when I put the tomato with the mushroom, it gets wet. Sometimes it feels soft and slimy. Okay, we call that soggy. Right now, I'm just going to put it in with the rest of them. And now it's time for the onion. Okay, what I do, students, is not the most... I cut off the ends. Cut off the ends of the onion first. Okay, <clears throat> now to save a little time with peeling, all I'm going to do is take off the top layer like this. I just make a small cut, not all the way through, just very gently, and then I just peel off that layer. That way it saves time and it's faster. Okay, so I'm going to cut my onion in half. If you place it flat on the cutting board, students, it's very easy to chop. It's not going to wiggle around and move around. Okay, everything's chopped. Once again, what are these? Very good. What about the red one? What's that? What is this? And what about the green one? What's the green one? Okay, good. I hope you got that right. I'm assuming you are all very smart because you are. And now students, it's time for the beginning part of the cooking. Okay, if you look at the frying pan students, it doesn't matter if you use canola oil, okay? You can use olive oil. You can use butter, whatever you want to use, okay? I'm going to use the canola oil because it's already opened. So all you're going to do, you're going to turn the heat on. Okay, the heat's pretty high, as you can see. Look at the blue fire. I'm going to add a little oil. <laughs> okay, students. This is so the vegetables do not stick to the pan. You see that? Okay. You want to roll roll the pan around. Okay, so the oil goes throughout the pan. Okay, put it back on the fire. And now what you can do is add your vegetables. Okay? Do not add the spinach yet. Okay? You want to add the onions. You hear that sound, students? That's what we want to hear. Sizzling. Sizzling. That sound is sizzling. Okay, I'm going to take the ingredients that I chopped before. Tomatoes, mushrooms, and green pepper. I'm going to add them to the pan. Okay. And because at this point, students, I want to add some flavor to, this, to these vegetables. So... I'm going to add some salt right now. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that was a lot of salt. Don't add that much salt. Otherwise, well, it'll be delicious, but not healthy. Okay, I'm going to grind some pepper onto these vegetables. And at this point, students, I want to turn down the heat. Okay, see all that smoke? That's a little too much milk. So I'm just going to turn down the heat. I'm going to use this just to push it around. I could use the other. Okay, I'm cooking the inside of my omelet right now. This is what's going to go inside the omelet. Do you see that, students? And right now, students, I, I'm going to say those are pretty much done, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to add them to my bowl that I was using earlier. And very slowly, okay, I'm just going to add them in here. 